In this video, I'm going to be talking all about the Wing Chun butterfly knives we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm going to be talking a little bit about the history, what my thoughts are on being around these knives for years and years in the shop and people's opinions on how they might have evolved. I'm going to be talking about the features of these specific knives, who would use them, and at the end, I'm going to put together a short demo of people training with butterfly knives. Hi, my name's Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 34 years and I've been the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 17 years. If you like this video, we'd really appreciate a little subscribe. Just click the icon in the bottom right hand corner. Subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from us at Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the Wing Chun butterfly knives we have at Enzo Martial Arts. So Wing Chun knives have been around as long as Wing Chun has, kind of like mid 18th century, something like that. And they've always been a key part of Wing Chun. Now, if anybody knows the actual history before that of where they might have come about, um, like whether they've come through from something else, you know, we get, we get people in the shop giving us all kinds of different theories. Someone said that they were used like as chef's knives, so they'd be chopping up in the kitchen and then run out for a big scrap. I don't know whether that's come sort of artistic license gathered from like current films and things like that. I don't know. Other people say they were used as like tools on like fishing boats and whatever. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be particularly clear if you have a look into, into the sort of history of it. But like I said, I've only had a brief look. So if you know anything actually factual where these might have come from prior to Wing Chun practitioners using them, it will be really useful to know. Now, one thing that is worth noting, the most important fact to start us off with is that I've called these butterfly knives. That's because most of the people in the UK where the shop is based call them butterfly knives. Now, the correct term really would be sword. So the Chinese word for these uh, is sword. And there are, I guess, much more like swords than knives, I guess, but it's, you know, it's debatable. Both works very well. However, most people looking for these to buy from us will be calling them butterfly knives, so that's what we've call, called them. There are also another type of butterfly knife, so don't get them confused with these, which is balisong, which is like a flick knife type thing that are illegal in the UK. We're not allowed to sell them, and they are used in some Filipino martial arts. I know they're legal, as far as I know, in the US and on the European continent and, and across Asia, but not in the UK. So when I say butterfly knives, I will always mean these and never balisong. So don't get that confused. But I know that different people use different words for these. Usually it will be butterfly swords or butterfly knives, but I will call them butterfly knives, like I said, because that is what the majority of our customers, therefore Wing Chun practitioners, call them in the UK. Now, as a sword, they're pretty distinctive and pretty short. They're very, very thick and fat, you know, and they always come as double, so you always get two of them. Now, the theories on this is that the people in the early days using them didn't really want to kill anyone. Killing people's not a particularly great sort of pastime to get involved with. Um, so this is this is what they came up with as a way of kind of maiming people, injuring people without actually like killing them. Like stabbing someone with this would be very difficult because it's so thick. You know, there's there's not that many squidgy bits that this is going to manage to get into. So it's much more about slashing away, um, blocking and hacking, rather than piercing and and all the rest of it that say one of the uh, straight swords that we sell, uh, we've got some up there, um, that's that's what they're, they're designed for, much more sort of um, quick fighting ideas, whereas this is much more sort of hacking and slashing. And also it does lend itself very well to the unarmed Wing Chun styles. It, it, the crossover is very, very close in terms of the same techniques that you're doing with these that you are doing empty handed. So um, this style of sword where you are kind of, you'll be hacking and slashing repeatedly works very well with the Wing Chun that has lots and lots of fast punches. Now you could argue not the most powerful punches in the world, but lots and lots and lots of them. So 
That kind of hack and slash method, maim, not kill, works all the way across Wing Chun. Another design in these is that you're very unlikely to break it. The much, much thinner swords will have a tendency to break and snap if there's any kind of fault in the metal build. Something this thick, um, you'll be able to hold a very, very strong, thick edge on these if you wanted to. Um, and it's a much, much thicker blade. So historically, they would be much stronger, much more durable. They have actually evolved around a time when there wasn't kind of out and out huge wars like we imagine in the West where you've got two massive armies fighting against each other. These kind of came around when there was much more kind of rebellions and kind of in street fighting and little groups sort of battling each other. And again, this is a weapon that will be much more um, akin to that style of fighting. You know, much easier to carry, much easier to conceal, and you, you're able to just sort of hack away and then hide them and disappear as you like. So kind of skirmishes and yeah, rebellion style fighting within cities. So again, this style has come out of the, the need from that time with what people needed and what they wanted to achieve. So let's have a look at these particular butterfly knives. Now, if you go out on the internet, you will see a huge array of knives. There are so many out there. Um, at the moment, we're currently sort of still in the, in the, in the pandemic, the COVID pandemic. So there's, there's not so much on the market. It's much harder to get these, which is a bit of a shame. I guess people wanted to use them to train at home and, and, and to practice. So like everything kind of got bought up. At the moment, we're very lucky to have, have these in, which is great. And it does mean that people can train with them at home. Now, something I will say about these is they're not the, the, the top, top end butterfly knives and the price definitely reflects that. So I'll let you know exactly what you're getting for your price. However, if you wanted the best, best knives, we do also sell the Damascus, the Damascus Wing Chun knives, which are absolutely beautiful. Um, very, very different to these, still very usable, um, but these are, you'd probably say, the lower end of the good quality butterfly knives. Now, what you get is actually a sheet, sheet of steel, and it will be just mild steel, that's then being chromed to give it that shiny silver effect. So I guess to help make them at a price that you know is, is very affordable, you need to you need to um, you can't be making sort of forged steel with like with distal tapers and all the rest of it. You need you need a nice big flat sheet of metal. Now this actually has quite a good weight, so it gives your arms a good workout. It's not like the wushu stuff that you'd be flinging about all over the place. It's still got a nice weight and it is nice and solid, which is great. But yeah, this is a flat piece of steel that's then been chrome dipped to give it a nice nice silver finish. And then you get this pretty thick handguard over the top again which has been chromed and then this this wrap on the handle here now this one particularly that i'm showing you now is a rubber grip but you do get like the fake leather grip sometimes they're brown sometimes they're blue with a with a material wrap handle and this rubber grip is actually relatively new i haven't seen this before this is sort of new within the last year but it's actually really nice and grippy on the hand which is which is exactly what you want one other thing, again, which is specific to this batch that we've had in, it's got a butterfly etched in to both sides near, near the bottom of the blade. You don't always get that, that will change. As the batches sort of come to us at Enzo, they do change from time to time. So we will do our absolute best to change the images online. So just have a look on the website and it should be an up-to-date picture of exactly what you're getting from us. If you've got any questions about that, just drop a comment in the box below. We'll do our best to answer it or give us a call or an email, which might be slightly quicker as long as we're in the shop there to answer the phones or email. Now, one thing that you won't get, and I've seen on very, very few butterfly knives, have had some in the past, is getting a sharp edge. Some people do ask, oh, I want a sharp edge on them. In my personal opinion, for training, there's absolutely no point in having an edge. Something like this that is chromed or mild steel, it won't hold an edge very well. There's absolutely no point in putting one on it. Some of the better made forged ones, yes, you could put it on, but why? What's the point in that? 
you know, you're going to be training with other people, so the chances of like lopping something off is quite high. So, you know, don't sharpen them. There's no point. It's a waste of time, um, and it will basically stop you from having a usable training weapon. So, yeah, if you're interested in training Wing Chun, don't do that. Now, you will see a lot of Wing Chun knives that sit together like this. And then you get it in one case that you put it in together. Now these do not do that. They don't have a case that come with them and they do not sit together completely flat so the blades are almost touching. That's a very nice feature for packing around. But actually for training, it's not so great. You tend to end up with a sort of sharp, not sharp, but kind of rough edge around the insides where they sit together and it's not so comfy. These ones particularly are much more comfy, nice round handle all the way around and sort of symmetrical on both sides. So you get a much more kind of uh, comfy grip that sits into your hand with nothing rubbing on your fingers to irritate you, which is actually a really nice feature. So just having a look at the measurements, just give you a few, I'll put all the measurements online so you know exactly what you're getting, but I'll just give you a few of the basic ones here. In total length, comes out 50 centimeters long. The blade on its own is 39 centimeters. Pretty standard for a Wing Chun knife. In terms of the weight, they come in each at 800 grams, so 1.6 kilos for the pair. Now, is it only Wing Chun practitioners that use these? Well, in the majority, it is Wing Chun practitioners that will be buying these. Very few other styles will be using them, but there are some dotted about. Now, mostly they're Southern styles. There is some Northern styles where they pop up here again, but you know, I've never really heard of anyone doing Northern styles that, that train with these. It's all the Southern Chinese styles. Hungar, Choi Li Fu, I've heard of them in Mantis, but like I said, the majority will be Wing Chun practitioners using the butterfly knives. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here's a short montage of people training with Wing Chun butterfly knives. Thanks very much for watching. I hope it was useful. I hope you learned loads about the Wing Chun butterfly knives that we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. If you like this video, remember to subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. It would really help us. So, And also, you will also get all the latest videos and updates on all the products we have here at Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.